Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In previous video, I discussed isolation of essential oil from plant material, and in this video, I will discuss isolation of terpenes and terpenoids from the essential oil. So there are two methods: chemical method and physical method. So first of all, I will discuss chemical method. So the essential oil may contain terpenes or terpenoids. So how will we separate terpenes from essential oil so first method isolation of terpene in this method essential oil is treated with nitrosyl chloride in the presence of chloroform nitrosyl chloride form adduct with terpene due to the presence of pi bond and there is no functional group present so the adduct is obtained in the form of crystal the mother liquid is separated and this crystalline substance undergo distillation and terpenes are separated from the mixture second method isolation of terpenoids which contain alcoholic hydroxyl group for example menthol or thymol so how these terpenoids are separated from the mixture so the oil contain terpenoid with hydroxyl group are treated with acetic anhydride so acetic anhydride this h and acetate removed at acetic acid and this acetyl group form ester so this ester undergo base hydrolytic reaction and we get hydrolyzed product these products undergo distillation and we get alcoholic uh, terpenoids or the terpenoids contain alcoholic hydroxyl group and we uh, separate it from the mixture and in third method we isolate the terpenoids with which contain carbonyl group for example citral or camphor and there are other terpenoids which contain carbonyl group so the sample which contain carbonyl group or terpenoids which contain carbonyl group is treated with 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrazine we can use we can also use hydroxylamine so uh, this carbonyl group uh, condense with this uh, 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrazine to form hydrozone it gives characteristic color so uh, we separate the hydrozone from the rest of the mixture this hydrozone undergo decomposition followed by distillation and finally we get terpenoid with the carbonyl group as a main product and the other substances are removed second is physical method there are two physical method we generally use to isolate the terpenes or terpenoids from the essential oil for first is fractional distillation the oil is heated at low temperature as there are weak forces of attraction between terpenes so we get terpenes in first fraction of the distill of this distillation process and the residue is then heated we get second fraction which contain oxygenated derivatives and we separate the terpenoids which contain oxygen uh, from this fraction and the residue is then again heated and we get third fraction uh, and that fraction contains sesquiterpene and other terpenes which we can separate it by further distillation process so then physical process uh, we, from fractional distillation we separate uh, we can separate the terpenes and terpenoids so the best physical method through which we can separate the terpenes or terpenoids in pure form that is chromatography there are various chromatographic techniques from which we can separate the uh, terpenoids adsorption chromatography partition gas vapor phase and other chromatographic techniques can be used so i will briefly discuss adsorption chromatography specifically which example i am going to use is column chromatography glass column is filled with the packing material suitable packing material and the sample is applied over the surface of packing material and followed by suitable solvent which is eluted over the sample as well as on the packing material so uh, as i am using polar solvent so the uh, terpenoids contain hydroxyl group they are readily solubilized with this solvent and travel fast along the uh, column so in first fraction we get 
the terpenoids which contain OH group and uh, through elution process we can separate those terpenoids. So in second fraction in the column those terpenoids uh, are separated which contain carbonyl group and as the hydrocarbon are nonpolar and these are uh, not, uh, insoluble in polar solvent so they remain in the last fraction and these are uh, separated uh, later in this process. So these colored lines show that the terpenoids present in the sample are separated by using this chromatographic technique. If we use non-polar solvent then this process may be reversed. So these are the physical and chemical methods to separate the isolate the terpenes and terpenoids from the essential oil. Thank you very much.